Hey everyone, it is Saturday, the day before I get to see the author of Yellow Face. Um, I did start this last night, not a huge lot into it, so I've still got a good ways to go. Yeah, I got up to about chapter 8, I believe. And so I'm going to finish it literally right now. I'm going to try and read as much as I can. So far, I am only eight, what? eight chapters into it and it is good. My God, this book already in less than 96 pages has hit on topics such as the erasure of history, Asian history in particular, obviously theory and stealing someone's work, plagiarism. This woman, June, who is the narrator for this, who has stolen Athena's work. Athena is Chinese American, I believe. Athena is Chinese and quite prolific. She's quite famous in the writing world. June isn't. So when Athena dies in her presence, June steals her manuscript literally off the typewriter, um, which is just absolutely insane to me. Why the hell would you do that? Anyway, she then goes on to claim this book as her own. It's filled with Chinese history. It talks about war-torn China, so many things. And she literally rewrites it so that it impl implements both the theater's work and her own. And then she goes on to believe that she actually genuinely did write this book. No, you didn't. Anyway, I think within less than 100 pages, I got triggered about four times. And um, like I said, I did start this last night. Join me as I read this book and I'll give you my thoughts at the end just say that this woman june is completely unhinged completely delusional like she actually thinks that what she's doing isn't wrong necessarily i just can't i just can't and the way that she actually talks about athena at the start of the book like saying things like saying really horrible things about her essentially and then going on to claim her work as your own because you know that she's successful and you're not and in this book, you can just tell that June believes that people of ethnic backgrounds have been given more publicity just because they are ethnic. Like, are you serious? After everything that's happened, after everything that I think people have done and endured, now that they're at a position where they can be more seen in the media, you're saying this? really glad that currently where i am right now oh i've read quite a lot page 103 where we are right now there is a lot of discourse about the actual book that's been published and people reviewers critics other writers have read the book have given their own comments which i think is always a good thing whether the author likes it or not she definitely does not like it but you know what things are coming out and i think it's only a matter of time before she gets outed that this work is not her own hear any loud noises i'm so sorry my window is open it's hot today or warm today and yeah so i've got to keep it open you know i am halfway through and i'm not gonna lie as much as i really really dislike june i feel like she's also made some val valid points like one of the people in one of her like little author events mentioned the fact that what do what do you as a white woman how do you have the right to talk about things that you don't really know anything about or haven't experienced or your family haven't experienced like why is why do you as a white woman get to speak about asian experiences she said something honestly that was kind of slay again i'm not supporting her all this bs that she's put herself into but i'm not gonna lie like what she said is crazy good and it just shows how good Rebecca is of a writer. So it says, I think it's very dangerous to start censoring what authors should and shouldn't write. I'd hate to live in a world where we tell people what they should and shouldn't write based on the colour of their skin. 
I mean, turn turn what you're saying around and see how it sounds. Can a black writer not write a novel about white protag protagonists? Oh, that was a tongue twister. What about everyone who has written about World War II and never lived through it? You can critique a work on the grounds of literary quality and it representations of history, sure, but I see no reason why I shouldn't tackle this subject if I'm willing to do the work. And as you can tell by the text, I did do the work. You can look at my bibliographies, you can do the fact checking yourself. Meanwhile, I think writing is a fundamentally an exercise in empathy. Reading lets us live in someone else's shoes. Literature builds bridges. It makes our world larger, not smaller. And as for the question of profit, I mean, should every writer who writes about dark things feel guilty about it? Should creatives not be paid for their work? And then she says, profiting from someone else, she, didn't, she doesn't say this, but it's in the book, profiting from someone else's sovereign God. What a cool way to put it. Athena used to struggle with this publicly, performatively. Ooh, this is honestly a lot deeper than I thought it was going to be. And it does make me question a lot of things that I thought I knew. Maybe we're not as tuned in as to what we think we are, you know? So I didn't think I would get emotional with <laughs> this one page, page 120. So she's currently meeting with a guy about film rights and film production and whatnot, seeing if that could go anywhere. It's not 100% confirmed yet, but she's checking it out. So yeah, she's talking about it and um, it says, and there's always that elusive tempting maybe, maybe this will get picked up by Netflix or HBO or Hulu. Maybe the film will be a massive hit and they'll do another print run of my book with the movie poster on the cover and I'll get to attend the premiere in a dress tailor-made for me arm in arm with a handsome Asian actor, their cast to play a gang. And I am still waiting for the poppy war to be adapted. When are we going to get that? Because that would make an absolutely incredible TV show or even like an animated series. Just like how I'm still waiting for the Green Bull Saga to be adapted to like HBO, Netflix, Y'all are missing out. You need to get on the bandwagon with the art Asian authors, please. Thank you. Chapter 11. I'm trying to keep this spoiler free. There are some things going on at Twitter at the moment. This is scary. Oh my God. Right, so I finished Yellow Face. <sighs> Literally 10 minutes ago and oh my God. That was something else. One thing that is undisputed is that R.F. Kwan can write. My God, can she write? Not gonna lie, this book absolutely scared the bejesus out of me as well. This is a literary fiction. Every one of these characters was so freaking messy. My God. We're led to believe that Athena, the woman whose work gets stolen upon her death, is like some sort of god, some sort of goddess, you know, she can do no wrong, she's amazing. She also has her very ups and downs and um, like, I appreciate the fact that those got exposed too. I don't know anything about the publishing industry so this was all very informative for me, very interesting to me. I'm pretty sure all of it is more mainly true. Honestly, don't really know what to say. So I was hoping to have done, to be able to give you like a bit of a review, um, a bit of my thoughts. The book is incredible, don't get me wrong. It's scary. Sorry, my nieces. It's scary. It's frustrating. Um, you feel so much horror at things that have occurred and the way and the lengths that this bloody woman will go to. Like, June is scary. I would not want to be her friend. Athena, at the same time, is also kind of scary. Like, the stuff that we learnt about her in this book. I really liked the ending. I kind of thought it was going to end with her dying. But it didn't end with her dying. Is that a spoiler? I don't know. 
the way that essentially the book that was stolen was all written by Athena and it was not supposed to be some white saviour story which eventually is what it's turned into when it goes through the editing process. After June adds all her bits and it goes through the editing process so many things are lost and taken out at, and those things would have been so essential to the story. I appreciate the way that it tackled on the thing about so what if a white woman writes a book about Asian characters? So what if a black person writes a book about white characters? You know, like, is there something wrong with that? I personally have seen too many times where representation goes very, very, very wrong when it's done by the person who is not being represented. And so I am a bit 50-50 on that by itself. But then I also believe in experiences and believe in the fact that sometimes when people have experienced other things and then they go on to explore that, to look into the history, look into the culture and things like that, and they adapt parts of it to their life, I don't necessarily think that's a bad thing. It's absolutely an uncomfortable book, a deeply unsettling book too. Like I said, it makes you question a lot of things that you thought you knew about yourself. And I'm not going to lie, June makes a lot of points about the publishing world and about the book world in general that I also kind of agreed with at the same time. I'm not like some critical review or anything like that so I'm sure some things definitely went over my head but in essence my thoughts on the book was that I liked it if you think you're gonna pick it up pick it up would I recommend this as your first read of Rebecca Kwong no I actually recommend Babel as your first read of RF Kwong's um and maybe the puppy war either one but I think Babel would have been a better introduction if I was reading like now and then the puppy war and then this because this is literary fiction that is oh my god what do they market Babel as like historical fiction i guess and that's fantasy right anyway um yeah i finished the book i loved it i still gave it five out five out of five stars i'm definitely gonna sit down make some notes on my thoughts do a proper review and everything like that and if i do it by the time i upload this video then i will link it down below i'm seeing rf Kong tomorrow and i can't wait to get this copy signed like i've annotated it i've tabbed it it was just so interesting to me and i do have so many thoughts that eventually i will be able to get out but like I said, if you're thinking about reading it, go for it. I feel like this is going to be a book that's going to be a bit hit and miss for everyone. Some people will like it, some people will not like it. Either way, I still recommend it. I loved it, I liked it. I gave it five, five, five out of five stars or maybe even 4.5 stars. I guess we'll see. But yeah. So, I am ready. We're going to see RF Kwan today. Um, I'm not wearing my lipstick yet because I'm drinking tea, so I'm going to do it after. But my friend is just on her way, then we're going to head into town, get some brekkie, get on the train, go to Liverpool. She wants to do a boat ride in Liverpool. I've, I've been to Liverpool once, but it wasn't for like leisure or anything. And she's been a couple of times, so we're going to do a boat ride and just hang out in town, and then go to the event. I just hope I have enough time to get my book signed. I'll try my best to get my book signed. If I don't, I will cry about it, but you know, um, I don't really know. I guess we'll see.